now for our special campaign, the NDTV Toyota Save Our Hills campaign. Radhika Ayer is uh, traveling across the Himalayas. She now reports from Leh. Well, I am now at India's arguably the most exotic, beautiful, marvelous, calm and serene locations ever. The Tibetans call it the Long, Narrow and the Enchanted Lake. And why not? That is the Pingosu Lake right behind me. 14,500 feet above sea level, above Leh is where we are at the moment. Look at that frame and you'll know exactly why the Pingosu Lake is just so famous and has an each, each day becoming even more famous with tourists flocking to this very place. The different shades of brown as you see on the Himalayan range that is guarding this very lake and of course the country by and large. The black which comes from the clouds atop the sky which fall as a shadow on the hills. There is of course the blue colour that you see and how many shades of blue is something that you and I is going, are going to have an argument about if you were here. There are at least seven shades of blue that I can see at the moment. There's turquoise, there's peacock blue, there's navy blue, there's the sky blue of course, there's ocean blue, several such shades of blue which perhaps you will find only in this painting like looking Pengonsu Lake. So why is it that there are so many shades of blue? That's because the sun in this very region holds huge significance. Of course, it is argued that the sun brings smiles upon everybody's face, but here the sun gives energy to the people, quite literally. From this little district called Leh, on top of India, there is a solar revolution that is taking place even as we talk. This is a story you don't want to miss. feet above sea level on the Indochina border, this is one of the remotest villages in Leh in Ladakh. But that they are virtually cut off from the rest of India for six long months every year during harsh winters does not bother Dishkit Dolkar. The recently set up solar plant in the Spangmik village has helped this housewife turn into a businesswoman. Her home, which can now provide light and can help heat water through solar energy, has become a bed and breakfast for tourists. पहले तो बहुत मुश्किल है यहाँ से सोलार भी नहीं है यहाँ गांव वाले तो बहुत प्रॉब्लम है ना अभी तो ये सोलार के लिए है तो बहुत ऐसे है This school in Leh cooks meals for 600 people a day yes with the help of solar energy rice and dal is cooked in less than an hour and that saves the usage of up to 3 LPG cylinders in a day now that's the biggest example of a solar cooker anywhere in India the panel shifts automatically to face the sun with the help of sensors that attract the sun's rays for more efficiency. Among the 112 villages in the high altitude Leh district, at least 40 depend fully on renewable energy. These villages are among the remotest. Some can be reached only on horseback after a three-day trek in areas like Trans Singela in the far east of Ladakh on the border. Their only source of water is the Zanskar River but these environmentally aware Indians living in the Himalayas have begun a solar revolution for India. Uh, Ladakh being highly elevated, the solar radiation is 1200 watt uh, per meter square, which is highest in the world because it is a clean environment. Secondly, uh, there are more than 320 sunny days in a year out of 365 days. So number of sunny days in a year is very, very high, highest ever, uh, highest comparable anywhere in the world. Most people in the city we know are very obsessed with wanting to build their houses as per Vastu. But here, far away in the hills, above sea level, about 14,500 feet above sea level, people like Ishe Palmo have constructed what is called the solar passive building. You don't usually have a black wall in your house, but there is a black wall inside with glass windows outside. So when it is winter, even if the temperature outside is minus 10 degrees, the temperature inside the house due to solar energy will be above above five degrees. According to me, one of the most modern ways of building a home. 320 out of 365 days are sunny days. This is a cool yet a desert-like situation that perhaps makes Leh the most unique ever. We continue our journey on this very special campaign. For now, it's back to the studio. India's number one news app. 
just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.